Question number 13. A particle moves along a straight line from a fixed point O. Diagram 7 shows the velocity time graph of the particle's motion. Assume motion to the right is positive. So this is a velocity time graph and the graph is like this. So what can you understand from this graph? I want you all to try to understand the graph before you all start answering the question. What does the graph tell you? So we can see that the particle is starting from point O, correct? Particle starting from point O. So what does what does the negative here, this part here mean? What does that mean? So that means you can see, let's say this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, right? So what does that mean? It means that the particle, negative means it's moving to the left, okay? Negative means it's moving to the left. So it means that the particle is moving to the left at an increasing speed because the speed is going from 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay, you keep going higher and higher. It's just that it's on the negative side because it's negative. So it's actually moving to the left and the speed is going faster and faster and faster until it reaches the highest point here. Okay, we don't know what is this. So you reach the highest, the highest velocity here and then you're going to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. It's still going to be negative. They're still moving to the left, but the speed is slowing down okay once they reach here five seconds the velocity is zero correct so that means when on the fifth second the ball stops because there is no no more uh velocity okay the velocity is zero so that means maybe after five seconds the ball after five seconds the ball stop stop and then it kept going up so that means this part here is what let's say this one two three and so on okay so that means what that means the speed the speed is increasing again but to the right because now all of this is positive positive means to the right so now it goes to the right at a increasing speed okay all the way to the six second so that means in one second from fifth second to six second that means one just one extra second it went from zero the speed of zero to the speed of 12 Okay, so it's that fast. Okay, so I want you to try to understand the graph first before you all start answering the question so that you can easier for you to understand. Okay, uh, sorry, easier for you to answer. Okay, right. Question A, state the time when the particle stops instantaneously. So I already told you, when did it stop? It start at zero and then you go increasing speed to the left. And then the speed reduced, but still going to the left. And then it stops at the fifth second. After the fifth second, it went it, it went to the right, okay, at increasing speed. So question A1, you can say that it stopped here, but this is the starting point. So it didn't stop there. So the instantaneous stop is when T is equal to 5 seconds. Okay, T is equal to 5 seconds. So, or you can say when velocity is zero, stop instantaneously means velocity is zero. So, when the velocity is zero, time is equal to five seconds. Huh? All right, question A2. The range of time when the particle moves towards the left. So, like I said, negative means left, right? So, uh, the whole journey here from the zero second. To the fifth second all of it is negative so it's moving to the left so the time will be the range is zero five okay we cannot use equal huh? don't use this huh? because why at the zero second and the fifth second the particle stop because the velocity is zero so we cannot say it's moving left moving left it has to be between this but you cannot include the zero and the five because zero and five is when it stops all right, next. It is given that the velocity time graph is a quadratic function. Okay, we know it's a quadratic function. It's a U-shape. Show that V equals 2T squared minus 10T. Okay, so we have to show this velocity. So this one you have to do some substitution. So we know that, okay, question B, yeah. B1, B1, okay. <clears throat> 
So we know that uh, this velocity velocity graph is a quadratic function. So a standard form is the general formula for quadratic is what a a x square plus b x plus c right. This is the standard uh, general form. But this one we cannot use x y because the x intercept is t. So we have to change it to t. So a t square plus b t plus c. Okay. So we're going to find a b and c using the different coordinates on this graph. So the first coordinate we can use is here. 0 0. Second coordinate we can use is here. 5 0. Okay. Third coordinate we can use is here. 6 12. So we're going to use these three coordinates to find a b c. So first one 0 0. So when v equals to 0, t is also equals to 0. So that means 0 equals to 0 plus 0 plus c. So c equals to 0. Okay, because all this becomes 0, 0. Okay? So that's the first one, c is 0. Second, we're going to use phi 0. Phi 0 means what? When, when t equals to 5, v equals to 0. So your equation is going to be 0 equals to a 5 square plus b times 5. The c no more, right? Because we know it's 0. Right? Okay. So we get 0 equals 25a plus 5b. Okay, we're going to leave it like this first because we need to find the, use the third equation now. So the third equation, let's say I use 6, 12. Okay. 6, 12, so that when v, when, sorry, when t is equals to 6, velocity equals to 12. So 12 equals to a times 6 square plus b times 6. So 12 equals to 36a plus 6b. So actually this one we can rearrange this. We can use uh, 5b equals to negative 25a. So b equals to negative 5a. Okay. I just rearrange this so that I can substitute into the second formula here. Okay. I can do substitution method. So b equals to negative 5a. So that means 12 equals 36a plus 6 times negative 5a. So 36a minus 30a. So 36 minus 30 will be 6a. So a equals to 2. Okay. So if a is equals to 2, we can find the b value. Negative 5 times 2. Answer is negative 10. So what is our equation? Our velocity equation is a is what? 2t squared plus b. bt, right? b is negative 10. t. Then c equals 0. So this answer. Okay. Shown. That's what the question asks, right? 2t two, two squared minus 10t. Yeah. So same thing. Clear? Alright. What's next? Find the acceleration when t equals to 2 seconds. So since we have the velocity function with b2, uh, since we have velocity function, velocity is equals to 2t squared minus 10t. And now they want us to find the acceleration. Acceleration means what? dv dt. So that means you have to differentiate the velocity. So when you differentiate, what you get is 4t minus 10. So you want to find the acceler acceleration when t equals 2. So 4 times 2 minus 10. 8 minus 10 equals negative 2. Meter per second square. So that's your answer. Okay, last question here. Find the distance, okay, traveled by the particle from p seconds until the 6 seconds, such that p is the time taken when maximum velocity is achieved before changing direction. Okay, so from here we actually know only where they are trying, what they are trying to say. p is the maximum velocity before you change direction. So this is the Maximum velocity, right? We know this is the maximum velocity before it 
uh, change the direction the because the direction change is here right from positive become negative so that's the direction change so before the direction change the maximum velocity is here okay so we want to find this this is p so the distance traveled from here when t and this time here all the way to uh, six seconds so we want to find yeah this this whole thing okay so what is p by the way there are two ways to find p yeah? if you if you are familiar with chapter 2 quadratic function we can just find the p by finding the midpoint of 0 and 5 okay you can do 0 and 5 0 plus 5 divided by 2 equals 2.5 so that's what you can do another way you can do because they say maximum velocity that means dv dt equals 0 okay because maximum velocity the acceleration is 0 okay so you can do that so that means uh use back the acceleration formula oh, sorry acceleration uh, function equals to 0 so 4t equals to 10 t equals to uh, 2.5 so you get the same answer okay but in this case up to you lah which one you're going to use okay i'm going to erase one of it because i got no space okay so now that i know p is equal to 2.5 i can find the distance so distance equals to you're going to integrate the the velocity function and then in terms of dt okay you're going to integrate this and then use the time the proper range lah Okay, to find the distance. So in this case, the range we are going to use is the p value is 2.5 and then the all the way to 6 seconds. So if you put here 2.5 and 6, okay, if you put this and then you put the velocity formula here, 2t squared minus 10t dt. If you do this, your answer will be wrong. Why? Because from the time from 2.5 all the way to 5 the the time right is a negative graph okay from here to here the graph is negative so if you go and diff uh, integrate and you substitute uh, from here to here what you do is you end up getting a negative value here and a positive value here and then when you're supposed to add these two not minus but because you get negative here and positive here you will end up subtracting so your answer will be smaller okay so that's not the accurate answer so what you have to do is when you see there is positive and negative part of the graph you do separately okay you do separately you do from p to five seconds one part and then five to six seconds another part okay then only you add them together clear so okay i'm going to show you all here so instead of 2.5 seconds to six seconds you do 2.5 to 5 first okay 2t square minus 10t dt plus 5 to 6 then 2t square minus 10t dt and then don't forget modulus okay modulus the 2.5 to 5 because you will get a negative answer so you have to modulus it so that in the end, it's going to be a positive answer. Okay, so you integrate, you get two t cube over three minus ten t square over two five two point five. The ten t square over ten t square over two, you can just write five t square la. Okay. Okay. Don't forget your modulus plus so this one is going to be the same thing but this one the range is from six to uh, five to six five seconds to six seconds okay so now you can substitute so when you substitute you will get a substitute five first then I substitute 2.5 huh? so when I substitute five I will get negative one two five over three then minus then the second one you get negative again so plus one two five over six modulus plus 
negative 36 ne minus minus negative so plus 1 2 5 over 3 okay so in the end calculate this whole thing you should get your answer 26 1 over 2 okay or you can write in decimal 26.5 meters okay so this is your answer so just remember when you substitute the first number you get an answer then you minus the answer for the second substitution okay minus ah uh, but because i get negative again so that's why it became positive okay all right